Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekend vlog. Today's weekend is going to be a super crazy busy weekend. I mean, I kid you not, like I have five or six events going on this weekend. There is this one bride that's getting married. She has multiple different parts of her wedding going on because it is part of an Indian ceremony, I believe. Right now, I'm going to actually be inserting a sponsorship that I have with a brand called Timu. I bet you guys have already heard about it because it's been a huge thing that's blown up on TikTok recently. Guys, you have no idea how long I've been waiting to open this package. Ugh. Look at this huge thing, oh my gosh. All of this stuff was sent to me by Timu. Now, why is this website so fantastic? Because they have a wide variety of products from like home, electronics, kitchen stuff, organizational stuff, and they even have makeup on their site too, but at a super, super, super low price. Like you're pretty much buying these things at a wholesale price, so they're like up to 90% off. They do give free shipping as well as free returns up to 90 days once you receive your products. Because of the fact that I work as a makeup artist, a lot of this stuff is makeup related things or things that I can get in my kit, but then some of these things are organizational like kitchen home things too. I have wanted to be a little bit more environmentally conscious and wanted to pick up some reusable straws. And of course your girl had to get the aesthetic looking straws. This is what the straws look like and it even comes with one of those little spoolies so you can clean them out really easily. The next thing that I got is this little pinky puff. You just slide it like on your pinky. So whenever you're doing makeup, if you rest it right on the sides of their face, then you won't be disrupting like any of the other makeup. Then the next thing is something that I've wanted to try for a while. It's a little brush holder. It looks like this. It's made out of like this, um, oh my gosh, what is this material called? <laughs> Silicone, that's what it's called. <laughs> that took me way too long. So you just put your brushes inside of this container. It even has like these little brush symbols on the outside that's engraved in there. It's so cute. I'm always traveling around with my brushes and I feel like this would be a very handy thing to have. I wanted to show you guys that if you're a makeup artist, you can get your makeup supplies. If you need things that you refill on all the time, like pinky puffs or disposables or something like that that you can go online on a Timu and buy them at like a super inexpensive rate. All of this stuff is very good quality, by the way. Like I'm not seeing like any issues. I don't wanna mess up my hair cause I have it in like this really nice bun right now. But basically this is a hairband that you can wear like this to get your hair out of your face when you're doing your skincare routine. It's a set that comes with these two little wristbands. So whenever you're washing things off your face, the water won't drip down your arm. These I was really freaking excited about guys. These are brushes and they're just little tiny dense tapered brushes. And the quality of this is so, so soft. You can use them for creams, liquids, powders, whatever you wanna use them for. And I think they're just really multi-purpose brushes. I am excited about adding those to my kit. These are something that I may or may not use for my kit. I'm not really sure at this point in time. The Rich in Avocado Fruit Essence moisturizing eye mask. That was a lot of words, but these are just gel eye masks. I'm excited to try those out because I'm a sucker for a good eye mask. And then I have all of these like hair clips that I bought, which to be completely honest, I might switch to because this bun's hurting my head. They come in like all these different colors. So there's like black, there's beige kind of color. And then there's also brown. I decided to also see what kind of lashes that they had on their site. These ones I will actually use them myself. They might be a little bit long, um, but I'm gonna use these definitely. They look like this. Like if you have clients that like a little bit more of volume, definitely gonna recommend those. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna die. All right, I got a keychain, but like, look at how cute this freaking thing is. Okay, like you guys know I'm obsessed with like boba teas and matchas. And like, this is the cutest thing. Look, it's a little tiny matcha thing, like a mason jar with a handle, has a straw on top of it and it has some boba inside of it. Like, look at how cute this dang thing is. It's so lightweight too, so it won't weigh down your keychain. Oh, hey, wait, here's my other coffee keychain. This one's the coffee one with the boba in it. Then the thing that I got that was really interesting, and I'll have to set this up a little bit later, like when I'm cleaning brushes, because that'll be the best test later on. They're makeup like drying racks. Yeah, so there's two of them that I got um, because I have like a ton of makeup brushes, but they come with a top and a bottom. There's poles in between, so they basically look like a tower almost, and you slide your brush through the actual slots on the top of these, and then your brushes can dry like that. These are things that I'm super excited about, guys. Okay, so I've recently been trying to implement um, using powder puffs on myself because I think that they're like, a better way of of pressing in makeup rather than just using a damp sponge. So I got a whole ton of like these little triangle sponges and they are like the mini sizes, which is really great for each person. Like they're smaller. And so you can just go like this. They're made out of a really nice like velvety kind of material. And then that way, instead of giving like individual sponges to people, I can just use this to set all over people's faces and then put them in my little bridal touch up kits. And then people have powder puffs to touch up with throughout the day. I would go through these so often if I gave one to each person. So the fact that Timu has 
these available on their website, I can just buy a bunch of these in bulk and then just have them forever. This is like a cute little black shirt. It has mesh sleeves, so like very see-through, but it looks like it's pretty good quality though and has like the little designs on it. And I actually think I picked out the right size too. Okay, so happy with the shirt. Okay, this I'm excited about too. I finally was able to find one of these portable handheld fans. I've seen these on Amazon to like dry off my client's face after I do setting spray or like a facial mist or something. And this is what it looks like, just a basic fan. It looks like it is rechargeable. So I will have to play with that later. This is another thing I got from my makeup studio. I got a humidifier. It looks like this. So cute. I've never owned a humidifier before. So I just figured that um, I can use it as like kind of like an ambiance inside of my space. This one I'm really excited about. This is a little mirror that I found. It looks like this. Oh man, that actually goes really bright. <laughs> yeah, it looks like this though. And it just like lights up on the side. So you can prop it up like this. And then you can just look at yourself. So I had to try eyeshadows. Comes in this little pan. This one's like very white and reflective, it looks like. Ooh, I think it'd be really pretty though as like an inner corner highlight. It's by the brand called Love, Love Coo. I have another color. This is almost like a rose gold kind of color. That is what it looks like. It's like I could pick it up on my finger, but I can't swatch it for some reason. But I feel like if you are building your kit on a budget, these would be really good colors to have. I have a crap ton of things to go through now. Look at all this freaking stuff now that I have on my floor. I do highly encourage you guys download the Timu app because that makes it a lot more easily accessible. You can create an account. It's completely for free. And then you can also input a coupon code that I will leave down below. Anyways, that's all I have for now. Thank you again, Timu, for partnering with me and sponsoring this portion of the video. And let's go back to the vlog. I actually have a therapy session starting at about 20 minutes. I've been doing online therapy from Better help for a week now. I did my first session with my therapist last week and we honestly really vibed with each other and I love how chill and low-key she is. I've just been getting a lot of anxiety about like bridal season, doing my job in general for some reason and just going to school in November is stressing me out. I just needed to be able to have somebody that's like a third party that's not involved directly with my life that I can vent to or talk to about and kind of work through things. So I think having a therapist is a really good idea for anybody struggling. All right, it's about 10 minutes before my therapy session and I'm just eating this sushi. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this this um, with my hands because I don't have any chopsticks. I just need a couple of bites so I don't die. <laughs> okay, heading back to my room to start the therapy session. I don't have a table besides just using like my actual table where my clients sit. So this is where I'm putting my laptop for right now and I'm just gonna video chat. So when the actual therapy session is beginning, which is at 1130 here, I just have to click go to my therapy room. You'll go to a sign-in screen that looks like this. I just can't show the email because it's my personal one. You just click log in right here, kind of like a Zoom call. So once the therapist logs on, then you'll basically be instantly connected with each other. I'm not sponsored by BetterHelp or anything. Like I just am trying it out and I really have been liking it so far. Um, I need to log on now to go into my therapy session. So I'll talk to you guys after that. Hey guys, I just got done with my therapy session. It went so well. I do have about an hour before I have to be to my bride's appointment um, for makeup for her bachelorette party a little bit later. So I will probably leave here in about a half hour um, to go there and then I will go ahead and talk to you guys when I'm leaving. I'm really not trying to stress right now, but my bridal client right now is like really panicking me. I'm a huge planner. Like I plan things several, several months, if not years in advance most of the times. Bless her heart, she's such a nice person. But oh my gosh, like for the last couple of days, we switched around location and timing and everything for the next like few days of me doing her makeup. And as of like pretty much five minutes ago, she texted me and goes, hey, instead of the Hilton, can we just meet at my house? Um, Cause she said she was running late. And so I said, no problem. Seriously, one minute after she sent that message, she's like, "Never mind, let's meet at the Hilton. And I'm like, oh my God. So as of now, I'm headed downtown to the Hilton. I really, really hope I do not get a text message from her. That's like, oh, never mind. we should meet at the house. And called it. She just texted me and is like, hey, can you come to the house instead? I'm gonna call her just to make sure. Crazy for saying 
Okay guys, I just got home, obviously, and I feel like I am such a mess. As you can tell, um, the sister wanted her makeup application done after the brides, um, so she was headed from the Hilton to go to the house that I was at, and everything ended up working out fine. I had to maybe hang around for like, maybe like 15 minutes like in between or something. Sister was so, so freaking nice. Like same with the bride. I'm gonna really enjoy doing their makeup for the next few days here. I'm really glad that I packed an extra touch-up kit so I had one for her. If you know there's gonna be a group of people and there might be somebody that possibly wants added on, just pack that extra touch-up kit. <laughs> if you guys do touch-up kits, like it'll save you, I promise. Plus the clients really appreciate it too. I'm probably gonna end today right now because I have a whole bunch of stuff to take care of for tomorrow. Um, so I'll probably just talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning guys, it is 6.40 in the morning. I just haven't been sleeping. I've just been thinking about like how behind I am. I have so many timelines to make for my brides. I have so many accounting things to catch up with. Like I am the whole entire month of May behind on accounting. Let me know if you guys are in the same boat because I just procrastinate hardcore about accounting stuff because I hate doing it. My first appointment is at nine o'clock. I have to go to a house. I'm doing makeup for a lady that has a newborn session. I already packed my touch-up kit for her, so I do have that already. Um, and then I'm not gonna be able to come home in between. Um, I just have to run directly to the styled shoot that I'm doing afterwards. If you guys are super confused and don't know what a styled shoot is, it's very similar to a model call, but with a bunch of vendors. Model calls are usually what is hosted by an individual. So whenever I do model calls, I'll just have people come over to my house. You can use like family, friends, anything. Like I've reached out to people on Facebook before that I used to go to high school with. So you usually do it completely for free. Some makeup artists I've seen do a kit fee, but in my opinion, like it doesn't really matter <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. And you're gonna have to do a lot of model calls when you first begin as a makeup artist. Everybody when they first start off is always like, okay, well, how do I get clients? How do I get them in my chair? I need to build a portfolio. Well, your portfolio when you first begin is going to be based off of hundreds of model calls. Just a side note, I'm gonna try this eye mask that I got from Timu yesterday. Ooh, they have like a pretty color to them. They're like an iridescent green kind of color. Okay, anyways, so styled shoots are something that you do not do alone. It's usually a collective of different vendors or individuals that, you know, sell some sort of service. Usually it is completely free of charge as well. And you're pretty much just getting paid an exposure. You're getting paid with all the connections that you'll gain from the vendors or the people that you'll meet during the styled shoot. They can be very small and they can be very big. It kind of depends how many vendors are involved. At the end of the styled shoot though, when you all go to post your work, you'll be exposed to the audience that that person has because they'll tag you, you'll tag them. So then if brides see me from this florist page, then they'll be like, oh my gosh, who is the makeup artist? They'll go see the tag, they'll realize it was me, go to my page, check out my work, and then hire me. So that's kind of what the point of like styled shoots are. And I have gained people like from the styled shoots and everything. So even though you're doing it for free, the amount of people that you actually get exposure to is 100% worth it. I'm gonna continue doing my makeup because I won't have time to like come home and get myself ready for the styled shoot. And the photographer is probably gonna be taking pictures of me like doing the makeup and behind the scenes. Since I'm gonna be in the photos, I wanna make sure I look presentable. I am dressed and ready. I haven't gotten this full glam in such a long time. 
I tried on the Timu lashes that I got and I don't think they're very bad. I just don't like the fact that like the bands are a little bit thicker and they're a little bit less pliable than the normal lashes that I'm used to working with. So they're a little bit tricky to get on, but I do think they look really good. Right now I'm grabbing my brush belt and I need to get all the brushes back into the case. I am using the drying racks from Timu here and they do pretty well. I just wanted to put paper towels underneath here just to soak up the excess water. I do notice though that these are not wide enough to fit face brushes. So some of the face brushes I did have to set over here just to dry but at least it gets a lot of the stuff off of like the counter over here so I'm not just knocking everything over. Okay, on the road now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit anxious this morning. It was fine this morning, and then I kind of started thinking about my weekend as a whole, and then I started panicking again. I think it almost is like stressing me out of the fact that I have multiple things going on in one day. I am getting to the point now where maybe not even separating them out by days is good enough. I think I might have to start separating them out by jobs. I'm going to go on <laughs> with this job and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, I got done with the appointment and yes, you guys are gonna hate me. I didn't get an after picture or a video or anything. They were kind of running behind. Right now I'm actually headed to the Sephora and Kohl's. It's like 18 minutes away from where I am. This shouldn't be too far away from the location of the photo shoot, but I'm not exactly sure. I need to pick up a sheet mask for my client that I'm getting ready tomorrow, which is the same bride that I filmed yesterday because she might be upgrading to the luxury package tomorrow. So um, I wanted to have the sheet mask ready for her to go. That same bride texted me today, like as I was leaving from the appointment that I just came from and she goes, hey, so would you by any chance have availability this morning to do my makeup? And I was like, hey, I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm completely booked up for this morning. And so she's like, hey, no problem. I just figured I'd ask. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I'm here at the photo shoot. I think the florist just arrived. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in, I think. I just feel like I'm rushing all over the place today. I need to take a breather. Anyways, I need to go because the florist is probably gonna wonder what I'm doing here. So yeah, gotta go, bye. All right, I am done with the styled shoot and that is my last job for the day. Everybody loved their makeup. Um, the first girl I think was like the most amazed with it just because she actually does have her esthetician's license. I was kind of intimidated because I'm like, okay, well maybe she's really good at makeup herself. So I was kind of nervous about doing her makeup and she's like, oh my gosh, this is the best that my makeup's ever looked. Just looks really flawless. I love it. I used the Face Atelier foundation on everybody in case you guys are wondering because I wanted more of like a medium coverage to kind of even everything out. Luckily the florist was actually nice enough to go grab me a coffee so that's the only reason why I'm still going I think and I know you guys are probably gonna think I'm being dramatic because I've only done like four people's makeup in total today but I think it's just the whole effort of me having a crazy busy weekend me running around packing up my things cleaning up my things I just got a text message as I was leaving from the sister of the bride um, I did her makeup yesterday she was the second one that I did after the bride she texted me and said that she wanted me to meet her and her mom at the Hilton um, downtown tomorrow 7 a.m got to be there in the hotel room and gave me the room number and everything she actually was nice enough too to give me a hotel key tomorrow um so i wouldn't have to call them to get let up to the room the bride wants to have her makeup done a little bit later so anyways um that's about it um i will go ahead and talk to you guys tomorrow so freaking sleepy i even went to bed at like a normal time i think i went to bed around like 10 o'clock last night guys it's five o'clock in the morning i'm gonna have to wake up at four o'clock in the morning tomorrow and that's the earliest that i've had to get up in a really long time at least today i only have three people but like spread out because i only have two this morning and then i'm doing the bride later this afternoon now that i thought about it i've had to work eight days straight that's why i'm so tired because ever since last sunday i've pretty much been working okay so i'm an official idiot i'm glad that i rechecked the time for today because it's 7 a.m instead of 7 30 so that's a huge difference i might leave like an hour early to be totally honest because i'm so afraid of downtown traffic like i don't know how busy downtown actually is and then if I get there early I get there early and then I pay more for parking but I don't really care at this point in time like I'd rather be there
I'm on the road right now. Um, I'm feeling a little bit nervous, but I'm trying to take deep breaths and calm myself a little bit. Okay, I just got here like really freaking early. I want to make sure that I get up to the hotel um, by 6.45 so I can like get myself set up because I might need to get my light out and everything. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. Okay, so I'm at the room right now. Nobody's actually answering the door and I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out. I tried calling the sister twice. I've tried texting her. I tried calling the bride and nobody's answering. I even had the hotel lobby call the room and nobody answered. So I don't know what to do. I don't know how long to wait around. I don't know. <laughs> Okay guys, another event survived. <laughs> Honestly, they're like the sweetest family. Like I love when clients are truly appreciative of the artistry of it, you know what I mean? Like this is why I'm a makeup artist. Anyways, um, I'm gonna stop rambling and I will talk to you guys when I'm leaving for my next job. It's a little while later. It's a gorgeous day by the way. It's like 65 degrees and sunny. Anyways, I have gotten something to eat. So I'm so ready to go for my last appointment now. And I did get a text message from the sister and she said that I'm going to be going over to the house that I I went to on Wednesday at three o'clock today. It gives me a couple hours to finish cleaning my kit. I have like all of this stuff <laughs> going on here. I'm so sorry that I did not get like any footage this morning of like me doing the makeup applications. I'm probably gonna get like the main girls, but I'm not probably gonna get any of the mom's applications. All right, guys, I am on the road again and I am currently headed to the bride's in-laws house. That's why I'm going for the bride's application. I should be able to film it for you guys. I see it in your eyes. Yeah, I can read the signs You need to get away It's time we make a change Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in me We'll work it out It's so hot. Gotta take the jacket off. Whew. Okay, so I just did the bride's makeup. You obviously saw the outfit that she was wearing. So we did like a more cool toned kind of look. Like I love that she just trusts me to do whatever with her makeup. Like I know that I've said this multiple different times before, but I just love when a client fully has trust in me. Not the type of clients who sell you to do whatever and then they actually are like picky. Like I'm talking about the people who genuinely love your work and you know that they're gonna love your work. So we determined that the mother-in-law for tomorrow may or may not want her makeup done. The thing that breaks my heart is that the reason that she doesn't possibly want her makeup done though is because somewhere 
along the way. She got her makeup done for an event because she has like a deeper Indian skin tone. Somebody like whitewashed her and now she's scarred. It just saddens me though when clients get that sort of like negative experience, then they're like, afraid to trust anybody else. All right, I totally wasn't going to be vlogging anymore today because I have to wake up at 3.30 tomorrow morning. I figured that I might as well show you guys this. I got a new vanity mirror. The old one is sitting on the floor. Look at this. It looks so sleek and it has little touch buttons on it. So you can touch them and then that's what the mirror looks like. I just feel like that goes better with like the aesthetic that I'm trying to do in here. I got this one off of Amazon in case anybody's wondering, I can link it for you guys. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I actually am doing for the touch-up kits because I just realized that I have not really done very many like kit prepping or cleaning sort of things in this whole video. The bride said her mother-in-law may or may not want her makeup done. So I'm still gonna have five kits in case. You just always wanna be over-prepared as opposed to under-prepared. How I usually assemble them is I get out oil blotting sheets. These are actually green tea ones. Then I get my business cards from Vistaprint. So I include one of the business cards. I will just put the oil blotting sheet behind it. I get these organza bags from Amazon. Mostly everything's from Amazon. So are the oil blotting sheets too. These are what the oil blotting sheets look like. And then I have these little individually wrapped mints from Simply Mints that of course come from Amazon. Then I buy the pack of the single use Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. I usually include a couple of little q-tips. Then I get these little cute things that are lip gloss applicators that I use for people's lipstick. Of course, Amazon. And then I'm going to include a sponge. These are the sponges that I get, by the way. They're the one and other brand, the Jumbo Cosmetic Wedge Sponges with Hyaluronic Acid. Those are the ones that I always use for my makeup applications as well. They're like the softest sponges, but also the most durable that I found too. But yeah, that is pretty much what I do for the kits. I'm just going to stick them all on the top of this case. <laughs> And then the bride for tomorrow is doing my luxury package. She didn't do it today, but she's doing it tomorrow. And then also she mentioned the fact that everybody else would kind of like to have eye gels in the morning. So I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of them with me and make sure that I have one for everybody. I'm just gonna continue cleaning my kit. I'll probably do a little overlay with music and we'll get on to it. There are just no words. My body would not let me fall asleep last night and I was like up constantly checking the time. I'm so freaking tired. I'm getting myself ready. Then I'll probably leave at like 4.15 um, because I doubt that anybody's actually going to be out at this time. So there's not gonna be any traffic, which is gonna be good. Um, but I gotta head to the Hilton, get parked, go up to the room. All right, it's 4.20. I'm on the road right now. I've woken up a little bit since you saw me last, but not by much. I now have a tension headache going on, which is great. I should have taken something for it, but I just didn't. I'm just like thinking about the fact that it's just gonna be a very long day. Obviously, when you're a wedding vendor and you're traveling to the person, like you have to wake up like 10 times earlier than them. Plus the two sisters and the bride want winged eyeliner. Me trying to bust that out at like, you know, five o'clock in the morning does not seem like a fun thing to me. That's pretty much it. So I will go ahead and talk to you guys when I get there. I just got here. Um, I was able to let myself in. I don't think there's anybody in these like connecting rooms. So I think people might be up because the lights are on. So let me get set up.
Okay guys, I am done with the actual makeup applications for the wedding. The mother-in-law did end up adding on at the very end. I did five total and then I stayed um, to do touch-ups on the bride. As you can see, she looked absolutely gorgeous. Um, I loved the hair, the makeup, the outfit, everything. Like their outfits are stunning. So I don't have to meet the bride until like 4.30 this afternoon, which is like six hours from now. So I have quite a bit of a break. I'll probably just talk to you guys a little bit later. Um, I'll still bring you along for, you know, me going back to the hotel and like doing touch-ups and everything, but I probably won't like videotape the touch-ups because I don't really think that anything major is going to happen. Okay, so this should be the last time that I am going to do makeup on this bride. I kind of have a feeling that I'm going to almost need to redo like her entire face and makeup. 3.15, 3.30-ish rolls around. She texts me and goes, hey, so I unfortunately got sick right after the ceremony and I'm not feeling too well. Can we push it back to 5.30? When you do get sick, usually your eyes start watering and there might be smudging on your chin or around your mouth. <laughs> And she said that she just took a little nap and now she's feeling a lot better, which I'm surprised that she even had the time to nap in between that. So at this point in time, I'm kind of expecting to redo her whole entire face and makeup because I'm guessing that while she took a nap, her eyes probably smudged a little bit and her face makeup probably is not on. I'll just, you know, update you guys on the way home about what I ended up doing and hopefully everything goes well. guys it is like two and a half hours later of course i didn't just touch up the bride i touched up like all the people that i did makeup on pretty much this morning for the bride i pretty much had to add like an entirely new layer of makeup on top which i'm glad that everything layered really well and then went in with powder and like setting spray and then did blush bronzer and highlighter all over again just deepened up the eyeshadow a little bit i redid the pigment on it did the liner so i basically created like a whole entire new face of makeup without removing anything. Guys, my weekend is finally over. This is the end of the long ass vlog. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed it. This was definitely not a common thing for me. Like I usually do not partake in several days of weddings. If you guys enjoyed the vlog, definitely go ahead and give me a big thumbs up as well as also subscribing down to my channel if you do enjoy makeup artist content. And as always, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.